Okay, guys. I woke up this morning and it was 21 degrees here on the homestead. And I still can't put the well project off. I've got the weekend off, so I'm gonna try to get this done. Okay, we're ready to drill this well. Hopefully we hit water somewhere today around 32 to 35 feet. And uh, we uh, finally have water. I could uh, save time by just hiring a professional well company to come in, but for three, four, five thousand dollars to drill a well that I, I can do for about $200, I just can't see the difference. Part of homesteading is trying to figure out how to save money while getting big projects done. You gotta be careful about regulations and laws, but you need to save every dime you can in order to make a homestead profitable or to make it worth your while. So I'm gonna run to Home Depot and buy the sections I need to thread onto this so that I can get down to the depth I need. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. Waking up to 21 degrees this morning. Right now it's about 24. Um, if it can get somewhere around 30, I'd be happier. Okay. So I made it back from Home Depot in one piece. I picked up the sections I needed. I should be able to go close to 40 feet if I need it. I've got three 10 foot sections, a five foot section, and then the length of the, uh, the drilling rod itself should get me somewhere around 40 feet. Hopefully I do not need to go that far. I'm gonna have to get the tractor fired up. Um, it doesn't really like cold weather. And no diesel engine really does, but I'll let the glow plugs run for a little while and we'll get that fired up. That way, as I pull the dirt out, I should be able to dump it right in the tractor bucket and avoid that cleanup later. So I'll show you what I got over here on the truck from Home Depot. Okay, everything we need to drill this well is right here. Um, I bought four of the couplings. They're three quarter inch threaded iron couplings. Don't need much more than that. Once I separate the rig here and unthread that, once it gets down handle depth in the dirt, I'll add a five foot section of three quarter inch threaded pipe. Um, all the videos I watch, nobody really discussed this, but if you throw a 10 foot section on, you're gonna need a ladder. So I'm gonna put a five foot section in, which will put the handle about right here again. Once that gets down, then I can put a 10 foot section on because the rig will already be five foot in and five foot above, and, and we'll just keep going 10 and five, 10 and five. These are galvanized pipe, three quarter inch, and they thread right into this hand auger. The hand auger I picked up at Amazon for $59. It came with the handle and the auger itself. What first turned me on to this was, I looked at one company that sells a, an auger very, very similar to this. I don't think it's any better made and some pieces of PVC pipe to make some sort of hand pump. And they get $600 for that. I've got $23 in each section of the three quarter pipe and $19 for the, <clears throat> for the five foot section. Yeah, doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's the way they price it. So I'm gonna have roughly $150 in the rig itself. Provided I hit water, I'll have another $60 in the, in the pipe to go down uh, to set my casing, which would be a four inch PVC. I haven't decided yet whether I'm just gonna use a thin wall drain or whether I'm gonna go with schedule 40, just so that the well can have strength. And I'll research that and let you know. So the first thing I've got to do now before I get back to the well is I'll go get some coat hangers and some cutters and I'm gonna water witch this and make sure that the water still shows up where I believe it showed up. So let me show you that process. Okay, here's what we need. Time water. 
I didn't used to believe in this type of magic until I actually tried it and was pretty much amazed how it worked. So, I need a couple metal coat hangers, a good pair of cutters to cut those off. You don't need huge lengths, but cut it and give yourself enough to work with. You may have to trim it again. Straighten it all out. It's fairly straight. Perfection is not the theme here on this homestead. I think that you all probably know that by now. And put a band in it. Get it fairly straight. Put a band in it. I'm going to trim a little bit off that. So that what you have is something like this. Okay. Now to keep you from cheating, I saw another guy do this and I've really gone to it. Um, some drinking straws. Now the trick is to make sure that this is really straight enough so that the straw fits loosely and turns. This way you don't have to worry about whether you're controlling that rod. So let's whip up the other one and then we'll get started with witching for water. Okay, I've got my tools made. I've got both of them. Straw over the end. And this is simply, you just hold them like this. When you cross water, they'll go like this. Sometimes really hard. But the straws on there, you're not affecting it. You're not touching any part of it. And they're kind of like, hey, there's water everywhere. So let me uh, let me show you how this works. If, if we, uh, this is the old well head here. This is where we tried to drill the well with the, with the water cap and the two garden hoses. And we got down to 20, 26 feet, I believe, and just can't go any further. That was a good area to, to which, if I start here by the tractor, you can watch the rods. I hope you can see them. But as I cross in here, they immediately cross and they cross hard. Um, I can reset them and the one saying go this way for water. I move back out here and we'll see what they say. But you're not really taking any hits at all. But if you cross where that water's at, they immediately cross right here. It's a really good tool for uh, finding water. I didn't believe in this at all. You know, I've heard people do it with birch sticks and, and welding rods and, and until I actually did this back in West Virginia, and I'm telling you, you can walk around this whole field and, and find water um, and you'll know when you find it. They just simply cross and they're done. So I'm pretty sure that right here is where I'm going to drill the well at today. Right beside the old casing. Because when I cross this, it's, it's an instant. I can set them out straight and they immediately come back. So let's get down to where we drill the well, guys. Now that we know how to find water, try it yourself. Just walk around. Um, if you've got a known well on your property, as soon as you start to walk in that area, these will cross for you. About that much length and just enough handle to get that straw. Like I said, the straw just simply keeps you from thinking that you're interfering with it in any way. And this one is going back there now to uh, <laughs> point back and go this way. So let's get the let's get the drill well set up and, and let, or the <laughs> that drill well. Let's get the uh, well driller set up so that we can get on this project and see how fast we can get this whole dug. First things first, let's get this Mahindra 4540 running so it's a little easier to get rid of the dirt we dig. Tractors are notoriously cold nature beasts. We'll let the glow plugs run for a minute and uh, fire it up.
Okay, we got the tractor parked where it needs to be, and we're ready to start cutting a hole. Let's hope this is as easy as the videos that I've seen in the past. So let's get this taken apart real quick. Two pipe wrenches, 14 inch pipe wrench is about perfect for one. Uh, get this handle out. It's in there a little well to start with. that off and we'll thread our first five foot section in now all the videos that I've seen say that you do not need to super tighten these because they'll tighten in the wheel I'm just going to snug them up then we'll take one of our fittings and put it here on the end of the pipe and then we can thread our handle back in and the handle straight on the end now where we took it out of the other piece and we just simply will thread that back in to the pipe and we'll go right back down and start drilling again so far so good Okay, we're down now about nine feet, eight feet, nine feet. So it's time to put that second section on. This uh, first eight or nine feet has taken me about 20 minutes to cut. It is very wet. Um, we've had a lot of rain over the last few weeks and the ground is saturated. I know I'm not in the water table yet, even though the hole's filling with water because I haven't hit the water sands. <sighs> Excuse me wear me out pulling that out but when you get to the to the water table itself and cut into that water sand it is a uh, it takes the digging from difficult to a lot easier because it's it's just sand permeated with water at least that's what I hope I find so now I've got to switch out and put the first 10 section 10 foot section on this and uh, keep cutting Well, as you can see, we're we're digging into a muddy mess right now. The hole's filling up with a lot of water. Um, we've probably had five to six inches of rain here over the last few days, so there's a lot of water standing in low spots still, and this groundwater saturated. But we're getting there. We're down about 10 foot. Um, probably another 20 feet to go to get where we need to be. The work's not too hard. A uh, little suction in the hole, but hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going good. I'm getting tired. I was just, uh, I was thinking I'm not really man enough to do all this. Um, so if y'all don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and let Tracy dig the rest of the hole. That's right. I'll give it a whirl. Now. <laughs> what are you doing, walking in circles? Yes. 
You can really feel it fight when it's digging. Get right. <laughs> or not. Or not. Oops, well, that's your first messed. shot at it. I've had to learn it. Well, I put my old body weight on it. But if you don't feel it biting, it was. it's not. Uh-uh. And this sand's tough. Mm -hmm. It doesn't want to stay on the auger. We'll get through that sand layer. At least the suction quit. That sand. Yeah. White. Yeah. Still good clay mixed with it. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Prove it to me. Oh, it's right you just like showing your butt to the camera. Yeah. Different technique. Ooh, makes me dizzy. No, that's heavy. It feels like it's leaving. You got some? Yay! <laughs> Try to keep it out of my good dirt. I'm probably gonna have to shovel that off of there and put it in the cart. Yeah. That way I can just get rid of this other crap. I'll go get the cart. Alright. Oh. I'll dig a hole with it. Holy cow. China, where's your dad at? He had to run mom to town then was coming over. stuff okay so we got a little problem here um, kept drilling we got down 16 feet 18 feet the suction built up and then the sand became real fine coming out of the hole which is typical of water sands but I thought there's no way that we're already there um, there are wells around here that are 18 19 feet but I was really expecting to be somewhere in the 30 32 foot range so I'm going to hook a pump up to it and see what it looks like to pump the water out of it because the hole just it keeps filling with water. I can't get it to go down. So let's check out and see what we've got. Pounds of pressure. A lot of sediment still in the uh, water. The 
see how long it runs. At this rate, we're running at 42 pounds of pressure. Seems not to be hiccup, and I'll go look down the hole and see where we're at. If, uh, if that holds, if that kind of pressure holds, 40 pounds of pressure, and it just keeps running for five, 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and set a casing in it and see Maybe we're in the winter water table and we'll find out later in the summer, but right now that's a pretty good well. I don't know if you can see, the water's running back in as fast as the pump's delivering it out. It's not able to uh, evacuate it, it's still running. We're gonna go ahead and get a casing down in this thing and. Uh, Set this foot valve the correct way. Okay, to set the casing, we're gonna use a four inch piece of PVC pipe. First thing we'll do is we'll glue a cap on the end of it. And uh, then we're gonna drill a bunch of holes along about a three foot section of it. That's to let water in, but not let any big debris in. So I'll get this cap glued on and uh, we'll drill some holes. That's that. Just a random series of holes all the way around the pipe. And I'll take the pipe and put it in the ground and get the shavings out of it. Then we'll glue the two sections together and we'll have our well case. All right, so we're gonna to have to have a part two happen tomorrow. It's starting to get dark now. It's starting to get cold again. While we were way behind the pipe and, and things we needed to buy, the uh, sediment kind of washed back into the bottom of the hole. So we're going to have to re, uh, re auger that in the morning, take out about 15 foot of that new water sand silt so that we can get the uh, casing down as far as I'd like to go. So I'm going to pack up here for this evening, but as you can see, we're running water. We're already on a successful well. All we got to do now is get it cased, get the pump hooked up, and uh, pour some concrete to set the well. So there you have it. Uh, tomorrow we'll finish up with a part two and show you how we get the casing in and how we get it all hooked up. It looks like we'll have irrigation for the farm this summer.